Hello everyone, my name is Bruce and welcome finally back to today's ho epic haul video. So yeah, I said finally this is one of the first haul videos that I've recorded in ages. I think this might possibly be the first for 2018 that I've recorded, but I'm not 100% sure. But we got some amazing cards today. Definitely worth recording a video and showing it to you. Also, I got a bunch of sick stuff you would have seen in the thumbnail. We got some Japan historics too, some insane mainline and matchbox. So let's get right on to the first car. You have the Datsun Bluebird 510, definitely the most sought after in the Japan Historics 2 series. So I did not get one, I did not get two, but I did indeed get three samples of this beautiful casting. Now I know a lot of you will probably be angry like, Boost, why are you getting so many cars? Leave some cars for other people. Well, that's the thing, I did leave a lot of these Bluebirds for other people. There was around six in the store altogether, six or seven. I got three of them, Ben got one, as you know, is the color, but I did leave cars, oh, I did leave cars for other people, so no being selfish here, but still, if there was only four cars, I probably still would have bought three, because this is the only opportunity I've been given to finally own a 510 inbox, so, you know what they say, if you see the opportunity, you may as well take it, and that's exactly what I did here today, I spent quite a bit of money on these cars, but still, it's definitely worth it. Alright, moving on to some more JH2, we have the Nissan Skyline C210, another beautiful Nissan, or Datsun, whatever you want to call it, from the Japan Historics 2, now I did not get one, but I got two of these beautiful castings, one probably to open, one to keep in package, so beautiful purple car there, definitely matches the theme of my channel, very, very sweet looking there. And for the final three castings for this set, I did get one of each, so I got the Nissan Fairly DZ. The Mazda RX-3, which looks pretty cool in orange. And I got the Nissan Laurel 2000 GTX in a very, very nice dark green colour. Let's show this off just uh, for a quick second, because I don't think Mattel has used this colour that often. Especially in the mainline or anything, so there's not many samples of this colour around, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So, very cool to see the Laurel on the line. This is the first release this has gone, as well as the C210. So, those both of those cars, this is the first release they've ever had in the Hot Wheels line. So that was the Japan Historics 2. I reckon we'll move on to two Matchbox cars that I got now. So first off, we have the black, beautiful Dodge A100 pickup. Now this is so cool. Originally, Ben found one in the reject shop, and I never found one until today. So here we have it in black with mothers on the side, and Tampo is red on the side with a white stripe as well. Got our phone number of 4991. That's definitely not a real phone number, at least I hope it's not. But here we have... A white base looking okay there. It's alright. I reckon if they chose a grey base, it would have looked a bit more appealing. But still, this car is so awesome. Have a look at the card art as well. It just looks amazing. But anyway, such a sick car. Let's move on to the next matchbox. Uh, I'm really thankful to finally have this. This is the, what is it? 1990 Volkswagen Golf Country. Now, this is a Mark II Golf from what I know. In a what, country form, whatever that means, so pretty much. It's not a stock golf, it's got the bull bar on the front, got everything what you add that you would expect for a country car. It's got a spare tire on the back as well, I think it might. Yeah, it has a spare tire on the back, which does look pretty cool there. So, finally, another Matchbox car that is going into my Volkswagen collection. I'm very happy to have one of these. Just awesome, awesome car. I got this from Maya for $3, sadly, but still worth it for such a sick model. Alright, uh, these next two cars I bought from the car lab. Now, these are the Beatles Cool Combis. Sorry, my uh, my words slipped there, and they're still slipping right now, but... He got two of these for me, he bought them for four bucks, and I paid him five dollars each for each one, because I've been looking for these forever, and he finally found them. He, yeah, he picked up like five total, three for himself and two for me, so I got both of them here, the exact same, identical. So, very happy to have these two. I love the Cool Combi, so happy to have another Volkswagen. Alright, and the last car from the reject shop, we have the Fair Lady 2000 in, what is this, a, oh, this is a really weird colour to explain, this is a very, very light and faded green, and this is a US car as well, it has new for 2017 on the top corner, which, if you didn't know, I'm in Australia, so we obviously get the international card hot wheels, so this is awesome to see, US card are back in Australia, they used to be around in 2015, I'm pretty sure, but I didn't get many of those. But the fact that they've gotten the US cards back is really cool, it makes a difference, so it looks way different in my collection, so something that stands out and pops out with the new for 2018 symbol, but I'm pretty sure that might be the only way to um, tell, except for oh, the back, here we have whatever that says, 
Minecraft specialty. I'm not going to make you read that on the side, but I can't fit it in my camera view, but still. Really cool to have these back, but the Fairlady 2000 also, very sick model, glad to have this color of it. Uh, all of these next cars I got from Toys R Us. The video from this in-store should be out soon, or it is out already, so this is a very strange car, you, or not a car, but a very strange area. You might, yeah, you can obviously tell something's wrong with this. If we have a look, there's a hook for the peg inside the blister. It's very strange. I'm going to be keeping this in box, so maybe if you guys know anything about this, like if it's a common error recently with Mattel, then you could drop that below in the comments, but very confusing. Honestly, I did show it off in my in-store video. If that is up, I'll put a link in the description of the cards to it. So, such a, just such an odd error. I did obviously get it for the car, but I noticed the error at the last second before I bought it. I'm just like, hey, why not? It's something different and it makes a massive change. I forgot to mention, I did not only get one of those cars, so don't worry, I won't have just that error sitting on my wall. I also have this model as well, so it, I forgot to say the name of this model. It's the 2016 Cadillac ATS VR. This is the first time it's shown up in F case, I believe. I've not been too good with cases this year, but still around that time for cases, but still it's a really, really sweet model in the Legends of Speed. Alright, the next car from the same series here, we have the 2016 Mercedes AMG GT3. Again, obviously, as I, as I said, in the Legends of Speed. Now, this is sort of a racing circuit series, so all the racing tempos will be on the sides and all over the body of the car, so very nice, as we can see here. So this is a sweet model. The AMG on its own is really sick, but just to see it in this GT3 form looks awesome because we can see the massive, massive wing there. just sticks out so much from the body. I love it. And we have, what, we've got some weird stuff going on on the side there, we can see some, what, what is that, scoops on the side maybe? I'm not too sure, but still, this is very, very cool. We have a look on the hood, what have we got? we got number 68 there, as it says in the sticker, but still, I really am digging this model. This is a very cool model, happy to see it this year in the lineup. Alright, the next car, this was a last minute addition to my shopping trolley, or shopping shopping cart. This is the Aston Martin 1963 DB5. I can never tell if that's an S or a 5. I'm pretty sure it's a 5 right there, but... Anyway, this is from Hot Wheels Screen Time, so pretty much movies, TV shows, anything. Well, there's actually video game cars as well in the same series, but all that sort of stuff packed into one, so... Awesome grey looking colour here. This is actually a very, very nice looking colour for this car. Looks absolutely pristine. You can just see the silver comes out really, really nice no matter how you look at it. It just it is me it's metallic, but it's not too much on the eyes, but it just sort of balances itself out. It looks awesome. Just look around here. What have we got on the number plate? It says oh, I can't even focus on that, can I? I doubt I'd be able to. Let's have a look. Oh, there we go. What does it say? Oh, I can't even read that. This is a GMT 21BA. I think that might be what it says, but if it's not, I might have to check over the video and edit that in. But anyways, this car is absolutely awesome. Uh, again, you might be a tiny bit angry for, for, with me for buying three of the same car, but when it's the Mazda Repu, I really don't have any choice because it's such a cool model, and in the second color, it looks way better than the original matte blue. Because, I don't know, I don't really dig that color too much, but still. It's in the Hot Wheels Hot Truck series, 2018, like, I'm pretty sure all of these cars except for the Fair Lady 2000, the 2018 mainline, so obviously really nice looking here. And also, one thing I noticed on the back of this car, it says Rotary Power on the back. Which is a cool tempo to see, because uh, all of the Mazdas do have rotary engines, which is a type of engine, obviously, that most cars do not have. So, actually, if we have a look on the base, what base code are we rocking here? If I, if my camera will focus, oh my goodness. Ah, uh, can we see there? Oh, you can barely see it, it's in the middle of the camera. It's K, or oh, K44, so in the 44th week of 2017 this car was made in and we put this to the side we have Mazda Repu 2 and Mazda Repu 3 so I wasn't kidding when I told you I bought three of these I'm probably going to crack one open I might do that in a separate video though as a review because I want to really get into detail of this car a bit more than I have already but still very very cool looking model and the last car we have is metal body metal based twin mill in the 
Hot Wheels Exotics series. That doesn't seem very right, but still, nonetheless, it is a very cool model. Glad to see Twin Mill returning to the mainline. I'm surprised, honestly, that it's in the mainline again. I thought it would stay in the special series, like the Captain America one or whatever it was in, but honestly, can't remember. So, Metal Buddy, Metal Base, I really... I don't know, it's cool to have it metal body, metal base, but I'm pretty sure like, a lot of Hot Wheels collectors would be more preferable to see other cars with a metal body and metal base because, I don't know, this isn't too much of a desirable model. It's still very cool, but I reckon the metal body, metal base could have been spent on something a little bit more, like, desirable. Say, like, I don't, just anything really, except for fantasy casting, would be more desirable than this in model body metal base but still I'm not going to complain too much because it still is a really cool looking model glad to see it returning here we have the card out there it looks very cool reminds me of the uh, what is it Hot Wheels uh, Highway 35 I believe it is artwork it just looks very similar to that but I know this card art looks very more like alive <laughs> and the car model looks insanely flat it's a bit weird but anyway that's enough of me complaining about Twimmo, guys. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button. Say anything that I need to improve on because I haven't recorded in absolutely ages. And anyway, guys, I'll see you all next time.